In the pre-drone era, military decisions moved at the speed of human logistics. Reconnaissance required days of aerial photography, manual analysis, and chain of command approvals. The Observe, Orient, Decide, Act OD loop took weeks, like Cold War U-2 spy planes capturing images, only for commanders to receive stale data by the time orders reached the field. This delay often rendered intelligence useless, as targets had already moved. The battlefield favored not just firepower, but patience. The 1990s introduced the Predator drone, initially just an eye in the sky. But by arming it with Hellfire missiles, militaries merged observation and action into one system. The weapon wasn't new. Missiles existed for decades. The revolution was real-time targeting. A drone operator in Nevada could spot a target and fire within minutes, bypassing layers of bureaucracy. Suddenly, the Orient Decide phases of the OODA loop collapsed from hours to seconds, turning delay into immediacy. Side-by-side -side comparisons reveal the drone's true impact. In 2003, a traditional airstrike required 45 minutes from target identification to bomb release. By 2016, a Reaper drone executed the same process in under six minutes. Algorithms now automate orient to side steps, like suggesting optimal strike angles, shrinking human judgment time. This speed advantage lets smaller forces outmaneuver conventionally superior armies, as seen when ISIS used commercial drones to guide suicide attacks faster than Iraqi troops could react. Ukraine's 2023 drone warfare exposed the ethics of haste. While DIY drones dropping grenades on Russian tanks showcase speed's advantage, rushed decisions also caused false positive strikes on civilian vehicles. A Stanford study found drone operators, pressured by real-time feeds, made 23% more targeting errors than pilots with longer decision windows. The very speed that ensures tactical superiority risks moral compromise, proving that faster observation doesn't always mean better judgment. Autonomous drones like the U.S. Army's Project Convergence now complete OODA loops without human input, reacting to threats in 0.3 seconds. While this guarantees outpacing any adversary, it also means delegating life and death decisions to algorithms. The original war room from scene one has evolved. Maps are now holograms and clocks display microseconds. The lesson is clear. The next arms race won't be about building deadlier weapons, but about who controls time itself and whether humanity can keep up.